Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. You see, we love stories so much that we started recording stories every single day for you. So send me your ideas. If you have an awesome idea for an adventure, head on over to KidShortStories.com with your name and your idea and maybe I'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Well, friends, are you ready for today's story from Hannah and Morgan? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day outside, which meant it was a perfect day for Hannah and Morgan to have some awesome outdoor fun. What kind of outdoor fun do you like to do? Hmm, maybe some drawing with chalk. Maybe running around and playing a game or building a fort. There's always so many different things that you can do outside. It's almost like unlimited eternal infinity options. Well, Hannah and Morgan today, they were working on two things. One, they were building a a huge chalk maze on their driveway that they were going to then drive their scooters down and try and follow the maze without touching the lines with the wheels. And then they were going to have a picnic lunch out in the grass. Ah, that sounds like a great day. Hey, Morgan, can you hand me that chalk over there? Yelled Hannah. Yeah, here you go. Which color do you want? Um, the green and the pink. Here you go. Morgan gave Hannah the green and pink chalk. All right. My section's almost done, said Hannah. How's yours coming along? I still have quite a bit more work to do said Morgan, but I'm kind of almost ready to take a break and get some lunch. How about you? (gasps) I forgot about food. I forgot about how hungry I am, said Hannah. Yes, it's lunchtime. They both rushed inside to make their delicious lunch. They filled a big picnic basket with all the delicious food, grabbed a blanket, and ran outside. As they laid down the blanket, opened up the picnic basket, all of a sudden they heard a sound. (laughs) Anna, did you hear that? Said Morgan Mm, No, I didn't hear anything All I'm I'm just eating my sandwich And what are you talking about? Said Hannah as she was like inhaling her sandwich No, hold on, stop Said Morgan as she raised both her hands up I sounded like someone was crying Said Morgan Hannah paused, chewing her sandwich, and listened. (laughs) Yeah, I definitely heard that, said Hannah. Come on, let's go check it out, said Morgan. Okay, but I'm bringing my sandwich with, said Hannah. The sound of the crying was coming uh, back in the trees in their backyard. They had a whole bunch of trees that kind of led to a forest but they had definitely never heard this sound before. As they both tiptoed closer to the forest, the the crying sound had stopped. Hello? Uh, Does anyone need help back here? Said Morgan. Hello? (laughs) Can you help me? I'm lost. What was that? Hannah and Morgan both spun around, looking all over the place. They definitely heard... A very strange sounding voice. And there it was. Oh! It surprised Hannah so much that she screamed and dropped her sandwich. Oh man, right in the mud, said Hannah. What in the world is that, Morgan? I don't know. The creature that stood before them was very strange looking. It was about the size of a small dog. It looked exactly like a moose. Like it had moose antlers and it looked like a moose, except it had wings. Don't be scared, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm a dragon moose. A dragon moose? Said Morgan. I've never heard of one of those. We like to hide, and usually nobody ever sees us, but. I got very lost and I can't find my parents. Oh no, that must be so scary, said Hannah. Yeah, I don't know what to do or where to go. 
Okay, well, we're going to help you, said Morgan. Hannah, what are you doing over there? I just see a whole bunch of footprints over here in the mud. Uh, Mr. Dragon Moose, are these, they kind of look like they might be connected to your feet. Oh, yeah, those are my footprints, rattle the rest. I was thinking, you know, maybe we could follow them and they might lead us back to where you came from. Yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of them because I've been wandering around these woods for days. It's been days? Okay, maybe not days, but it's been a long time. Like, how long are we talking? Asked Tana. Uh, like since breakfast this morning. Oh, so, okay, a couple hours. We should be able to do that, said Hannah. Hannah, Morgan, and their new friend Dragon Moose started walking and following these footprints of his that were through the forest. They thought it was going to be easy just to follow these footprints, but they would pretty soon learn that it was going to be a lot trickier than they had thought. It's going to be okay, little guy. We're going to get you back to your family in no time. I bet we're almost there. Whoa! Hannah grabbed onto a, a vine because there was a cliff. Dun, dun, dun! Whoa, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I flew over this canyon here, and that's where the, the trail ends. Holy smokes, that was a close one, said Hannah. Yeah, so... These footprints just stop right at the edge of this cliff because you flew over? Wait, you can fly? Of course I can. I'm a dragon moose. You see these wings? They don't just look cool. They actually look. Watch. And just like that, the dragon moose flew right over the cliff to the other side of the canyon. Oh, but how are we going to get over there? Said Morgan. Well, here's some this vine that I held on to, said Hannah. Maybe it'll hold us and we can swing across. No way. nah. uh There's no way I'm doing that, said Morgan. Come on. We got to help our friend and it'll be kind of fun, said Hannah. Here, I'll go first. One, two, three. Be careful, Hannah. Whoa. I made it. Hannah grabbed onto that vine and swung right across the canyon. Whew, that was a close one. Here, I'll throw the vine back to you, said Hannah. She threw the vine back across the canyon and it swung back towards Morgan, who cautiously grabbed on. Okay, I got it in in my hand. This is me coming. I'm, I'm about to jump. You can do it, Morgan! Hannah shouted from the other side. Okay, I, one, two... Nope, I'm... I I don't know about this, Hannah. Just jump for it. Do it! Shouted Hannah. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Morgan slammed on the ground on the other side. You did it! Shouted Hannah. Oh, that was terrifying and also like the coolest thing I've ever done! Shouted Morgan. Well... There's my family! Come on! It was just up ahead that the dragon moose uh, remembered where his family was. Hannah and Morgan had did it. They saved dragon moose and brought him all the way back to where he lives. Even though this is the end of our story, I think this is just the beginning of Hannah and Morgan's new friendship with the dragon moose. (laughs) What would you do if you found a dragon moose in your backyard? Oh, wow. They're so lucky. I wish I had a dragon moose living in my backyard, too. (laughs) The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Juno and Gio from Colorado. Araya from Australia, Tate and Crosby from Portland, Maine, Reagan from California, Duncan from Washington, Zachary from St. Louis, Missouri, and Maxwell from Los Angeles. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. And on the spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!